Um, hello everyone, my name is Gunnerside, and today I have uh, 10D's first recap with the new recapper, uh, i.e. me. I have taken over after Hargrim sadly didn't have enough time, but I'm sure we'll make things work. Um, it's not just me here, thankfully. Uh, I am joined by uh, Hummersep, straight from Div2. Say hello. Hello everyone. Alright, um, this will be a relatively short recap because there will be a little bit of overlap between this one and the previous one with Hindus. So let's get right into it with the um, results for last week. On the top there, we have the Lizardman team, Rasping Reptiles, getting a 2-0 victory over the um, uh, Warspite Wildlings. Um, which is interesting, because these are two of the um, lower end teams on our uh, in our divs. Uh, they have had a very rough season, so it was interesting to see who would end up out on, uh, on top in this game. Um, as we can see, uh, the War Spite, War Spite Wildlings had, well, not very much ball position. I watched the replay of the game, and I remember... Um, the elves leaving their ball exposed and ending up getting it served about turn 3, 4 ish. Uh, the ball then scattered into basically skink hands, as ball scatters always do, and well, doesn't really get better from there. Um, thoughts, Somerset? I mean, it's looking at the teams, it was really difficult for the wood elves, uh, like even to start with, because I mean, the Lizards don't have Tackle, but also the Wolves don't have too much dodge, and one of the pieces that has dodge, or two of them actually, don't have block, so uh, he can just block him with the Sauros and can pretty much ignore the fact that he doesn't have Tackle. And I think, as you said, the Wardenser got a movement busted this game, so being without Wardenser and only one catcher as a positional without the tree is pretty tough to get any game won with this team. Hmm. It also doesn't help that basically half the team is loners at this point, so every yeah, dodge indeed. is a risk, you know. Um, when the ball got surfed, it was on the catcher, and the catcher got injured, like normal badly hurt, but he was apoed. Um, I think he might regret that after the perm on the war dancer. Oh, we'll talk more about that later though. Um, other than that... Um, Decent SPP from uh, for the elves and pretty great for the rasping reptiles. Uh, pretty bad MVP for the elves there on a loner, but a great one for the Saurus. Um, I mean, dodge Saurus as first skill. Um, it's it could be great, but leveling up will take a million years. Yeah, it sounds great in theory, but usually because you want block, you want guard, you want stand firm, and in theory, this player is good in like. 40 games or something because they don't get too fast SPP especially with picking dodge first uh, delays also the mighty blow you get eventually to get faster SPP yep basically um, moving over to the next game is Saki Ballers versus Purple Circus this are the the dwarves versus the Kislev um, I think the Kislev really had a rough time with this um, I mean, Kislev doesn't really do great against the Dwarves, especially when um, when your team isn't very developed. Um, I mean, the uh, the Blitzer is niggled after all, and that Dwarf Runner is absolutely insane. Um, so you can yeah, kind of see this, did see this coming, but um, I think he gave it a pretty good shot, 1-0. Um, I mean, two armor breaks for the kids left, 12 for the um, the dwarves, like, what are you really going to do? The dwarf team is so much more developed, um, better at early TV. Yeah, kids left need quite some bit to get developed blitzers, developed catchers, and he also has only one blitzer, which is one of the best players. So, also the, the bear didn't have any level for guard or something, which would really help. Hmm. So it was the tough one and like check the runner and the strength for Troll Slayer is ridiculous. Absolutely. 6% uh, ball position on the Kislev really says it all. Um, yeah. In terms of SPP, um, 
uh, pretty decent. Um, you usually don't really want to hoard SPP on the catchers because they have an easy time of leveling. But I guess he can be um, happy with the catcher levels. Um, the dwarves also has have had a um, good game in terms of SPP. The MVP on a rookie blitzer is great. That means mighty blow, tackle for example. Um, a lot of opportunities there. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he's uh, get, got the level with the touchdown already. And then, let me count, yeah, and then got the MVP as well. Which is pretty good because it's getting so much closer to the next level as well. Mm. Oh wow, the kiss left rolling 37 ones and 25 sixes. That's, that's a lot of ones. Mostly, um, mostly on the GFIs. Six successes and six failures. 50-50 on GFIs is not something you want to be looking for. Feels like my uh, clan game last week where I had like 50% uh, on bone heads. Nice. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we'll be moving on to the uh, next game. This is the one between me, uh, the High of the Sunbaked Sea Guard, and the Pirates of the World's End, um, the Chaos Dwarfs. We already looked over this game um, last week, so not, not too much to talk about. Good MVPs on both sides. Yeah, moving on, really. Yep, okay. Uh, Orthodox Party versus the Bile Bay Giants was an automatic win for the uh, Chaos Dwarfs, the Bile Bay Giants, because the goblins had to uh, leave. But luckily, there's a replacement, which we'll talk about later. Moving on. Despicable Meme uh, 3-1 versus the Lords of the Dance. I watched uh, Sean Man stream this game, and it was uh, quite a mess. Uh, the first half... It looked like it was going great for Sean Man, getting plenty of injuries, killing two elves if I remember correctly. And yeah, um, one who got the MVP. <laughs> yeah, exactly, an awful MVP. And um, things were looking quite uh, nice for Sean Man. 1 0 up at halftime is, you know, perfect for Nurgle, really. But then he kind of got styled on for eight turns in a row in half two. Um, I think. I think there was a blitz, I'm not sure, but yeah, it was quite a mess. Um, <laughs> the three armor breaks for the uh, Dark Elves here showing that you Dark Elves really don't need the whole uh, bash thing, they can play the edgy game too. Especially with an edgy five, uh, edgy 5 bitch and a move 9 blitz, uh, wow. yeah. that's so annoying to play against really. Without a doubt, SPP. Um, I mean, Sean Man, I don't think he's really going for the planes, so he can be very happy with this game, getting so much SPP on his positionals. I think the touchdown he made was on a Chaos Warrior. Despicable Meme, um, I'm not sure he's as happy with the SPP, getting the MVP on the Deadline Elf. Um, <laughs> Riz. Yeah. Uh, Dodgers, pretty average. Uh, tentacles, pretty average. I think the stats were pretty average all in all. Armor perhaps on the low side, but Claw Mighty Blow will do that for you. Uh, yeah, perhaps not too much more to uh, to talk about here. Shall we move on? Yeah, sure. And up last is the Nagarite Night Stalkers, the Dark Elves, versus Granny's Chosen, uh, the... Um, uh, what are they called? The um, Sandy Boys. Uh, oh jeez, this is naming Chemri. <laughs> Chemri. What am I? What am I doing? Showing how professional I really am. Oh. I mean, uh, the Chemri were going to have a hard time. They had zero tackle, if I remember correctly, versus this entire team, which was basically just blodge the spam, uh, spam into oblivion. Um, I mean. Elves really just dance around him, who are just so slow and dependent on those um, those strength 5 players for support. I mean, your backfield will never, ever be safe against elves as him, which is probably why we see the 3-1 uh, result here. Um, all things considered, pretty poor armor breaks. Um, you, you really hope to um, just try and remove the elves before they can... Uh, uh, start any shenanigans. Uh, five passes for the uh, Nagarite Night Stalkers there. 
uh, getting that sweet, sweet SPP one, uh, one at a time. Looking at the statistics, equal ball position, which is kind of interesting. Um, in terms of block, also very equal, but then again, he also made 8 removals versus uh, Nagarai's 3. Um, which will... Like, you'd think from that statistic alone that it would be a landslide almost, but as you can see, quite the contrary. Um, in terms of SPP, I think the, um, the elves can be quite happy, and the um, Chemri can be too. So all in all, pretty just, good. I'm just amazed by all these edgy ups on the Chemri. Yeah, and yeah. also like the throw of edgy up, sure hands and dodge. It's like if you look, just look at the team without looking at the positions, you could expect like it being an elf team or something. Uh, basically. <laughs> um, I like it. That was a um, unless you have anything else to say about this matchup. I mean, the the thing is, the all the edgy ups are bloating the team a bit, and mm. I can see it on a thrower, but I can't really see an edgy up working on a skeleton, because yeah. even if it would get like to level four, what do you get? Because level uh, edgy up is only level uh, edgy three, and you it's only useful for picking up the ball already. Can we don't do really any other? rolls on edgy except for some dodging and i don't see why you would need an agility up especially mm. level one uh, but let's talk more about that when we actually begin talking about the teams armor sub all right this is awkward i'm sure he'll come back at some point probably <laughs> great first recap guys um, as I solo move over to the um, to the teams here, let's take a look at the Pirates, Pirates of the World's End and Sador. Uh, no levels up here, um, but I don't think that's a uh, a very big deal for um, for him, as he has probably the Div's most developed team, um, other than maybe the Nagarite Night Stalkers. Not entirely sure. 220k in the bank is something that really um, pops out here. Um, not sure if he has... Yeah, he does have a stadium already, so he might actually just try and, and burn that on something. Maybe buy something from the player market, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, not, not much development here in the last week. Uh, the goblins, well, they're not in the, um, not in the game anymore. Despicable meme. Let's take a look here. Um, if I remember correctly, their game ended up with two dead linemen, which, well, he can replace. Apparently, everyone's rich in this division. Let's try and figure out where the hell Hummerset went. Probably disconnected or something. I guess. Um, yeah, as always, the. Uh, <laughs> The Hello! Oh, he's back! He's back, <laughs> It's my usual disconnect for like a minute, so right. no. Sick. Uh, I quickly went over the um, the Chaos Dwarf team. Nothing new there, so don't worry about it. We're on the mm -hmm. Despicable Meme team now. Yep. That rhymed and was kind of satisfying. <sighs> it's looking disgusting. Uh, yes, it, they, it... they did have two linemen die this week, though. Yeah, but they're fine. I mean, like, linemen, loner are pretty fine for Dark as they are AV8, they can get quite a punch. And it's all already looking decent, and it's only getting better the further the team gets developed with yes. all these stats. Um, like, the stats are really good. RG5, which is really good, getting a leap and um, wrestle probably to be a ball sacker. And the Blitzer can just get such an easy time on one turning with maybe sidestep. And I mean, like, uh, the team is so close to being even more ridiculous, right? One SPP away from another level on Gorgol never snakes there. Um, not sure yeah, what he... Yeah, the is only 5 SPP and MVP away from leveling again. Mm, uh, we'll probably see you wrestle on the Witch, don't you think? On the Agility Up Witch? Yeah, yes, for sure. Yes. I would go wrestle then... Um, strip Ball? Leap, leap Strip Ball or Strip Ball Leap. Uh, you can you can get away with only strip ball first because uh, LG5 can also dodge in most or some cages as well. Yes. 
Um, Gorgul never snakes. Probably sidestep on that. Probably. Probably uh, sidestep or diving tackle. Yeah, uh, he does have a trend of blodge step, so I, I think he'll continue with that and go sidestep on him. Um, yeah, uh, the runner probably dodge next, maybe block, and then maybe safe throw if he really enjoys throwing. We'll have yeah, to see. Seeing him getting pass and accurate, usually most people go leader. Um, mm. If you go that route with pass and accurate, you probably should go or could go a uh, safe pass or even a for steal. Um, because getting defensive skill is, is somewhat counterproductive because you get all these skills to get the pass away and then it's not worth it staying on the feet, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's interesting to see what he what he's going for, what his uh, preference is there. Mm, yeah, uh, probably like uh, he'll try for the uh, vanity pass on the um, on the blitzer, two vanity passes on the witch elf, and score on the witch elf, and then we'll we'll have even more disgusting elves to look at next week. Plus, <laughs> you know, rehiring the uh, lineman and all of that. Um, moving. He's, all, he's also 150k, so yes. he could just buy two linemen already. Yes, or he might save up for the player market. I do not know. That's not the thing as well, true. Uh, <laughs> oh, an assassin. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was joking. Um, let's move over to uh, the next Dark Elf team, Nagarath Night Stalkers. Now, um, if I remember correctly, these are the ones who played the Kemri this week. And mm -hmm. they got... Like, they won. But at what cost? Um, they lost their Bloodstep Blitzer, called Misery. I think. Um, they got a level on Chameleon, who has guard now. Add you 5 guard. That's just perfect, isn't it? Um, Punisher also got a level... If I can find him. There we go. He's MNG'd. He gets block. Uh, Pain got a level, and Alarel. Alarel gets tackle. Um, which is interesting, because he looks like he kind of wants to make that a sacker, perhaps? But then he went block, which is kind of counterintuitive. And Pain got sidestep. Um, a lot of levels, which I'm sure he's very thrilled about, but you know, dead blodge, dead blitzer will take a while to replace. Thoughts on the levels? Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, can you say that again? Because you went full robot. Oh fuck, my fucking is dying probably. Sick. <laughs> um ish. Um, not really though. Oh uh, fuck. Yeah my internet pretty shitty these days. Hmm, pity. Um alright, let, let me just like quickly start with the uh my opinions <laughs> on the level. Well we wait for Hummersep's internet to um <laughs> de retard. Um, the AG5 guard, interesting, uh, I'm not sure if I would have taken the double personally, um, the AG5 would probably have been either a, um, a sacker or a uh, recovery option in my hands, but I guess guard works. Um, you don't really want him on the front line, I don't think, especially not when he's so far away from any defensive skills, right? Um, other than that, sidestep on pain is pretty standard. I mean, sidestep is very common after blodge, especially if you have tackle. Like, what else is there really to take? Uh, mm, other than that, LRL, tackle. Um, I'm not sure what I think about it. I think I like it, but I'm not sure. Uh, am I okay now again? Yes, you are. Ooh. Grace us with your opinions. <laughs> uh, yeah, on the um, agility guard, it's really tough because agility 5 is good for getting leap. And especially with having block on both witches, he could have gone leap and wrestle on this one uh, to make the lineman into a sacker. I mean, he's only movement 6, but still, uh, it's still good. But also, you, you always want guard on elves, especially since you already have one. It's 
only getting better, but it's it, it was a really tough call, and I can't blame him for get uh, for getting guard. But I would also probably have uh, would have got the way on wrestle and leap, especially as you said, he would just don't have it. Mm. I mean, he could have even considered mighty blow to get that re removal game going against other elves and other bash teams too. Hmm. Yeah, but mighty blows. Even worse, not worse, but you know, in order, it's not too good with um, AG5. I mean, as you'll see, I have a mighty blow uh, blitzer. He's a god, really. But <laughs> we'll talk about uh, Shemri right now. Yeah, but imagine you have to blitz with him for plenty games without having block. It's more yeah, it's that's such a liability. Yeah, 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 that's fair. Um, right. Anything else? And yeah, I mean, like a sidestep on pain, it's pretty default. You could have gotten um, diving tackle as well, but I don't mind. And it's probably better to get sidestep first. Hey, diving tackle and next, probably, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm. I like uh, getting diving tackle before um, sidestep. All right. Because you can just use it to attack someone you don't want your opponent to use, and. If he wants to use him, he is forced to blitz first. Mm. Even if you can't stick on the player, but you can force a blitz on a specific uh, position. And that's really strong in my opinion, but many coaches just think it's better to like get sidestep and st stick on that player if he doesn't find the knockdown, which is also true and good. Mm. So it's really a uh, like, uh, personal preference, I think. Yeah, agreed. You know, the Punisher yeah, got block too. Blodge, like, block is yeah, really yes. the only option I see there. A no brainer, yeah. Uh, unless he got doubles or, like, edgy or strength. Yeah, yeah. basically. Uh, Henry, shall we? Yep. Um, <laughs> Grimes <laughs> Chosen. Also, those names, I love them. Yeah, as you said, um, a lot of edgy. A lot of it. Mm -hmm. uh, the MNG, I think, on the Blitzer. No, Let's that's check. an eagle. Never mind. Um, that's oh. that's trouble. I think. Um, I can feel for him. I have also an eagle. Well, you I'm play Amazon. Do you have more than one eagle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, also the Tomb Guardian has a eagle. That's rough. Uh, yeah. Look, uh, we got a level on Weiss Erflieder, which is block. That is absolutely massive for him. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I mean, block, best skill on big guys, right? So, no brainer there either. Um, yeah, obviously. Could have gone blodge for the, you know, to show everyone his boss, but I guess not. Um, <laughs> the Niggle Blitzer actually just got the tackle this game. So yeah, you can like use that. that against the yes, that's very important I think. Um, at least at least one tackle. Um, every team should have it uh, as soon as possible really. Um, other than that, no real big changes. He still has a ton of money in the bank. Um, he doesn't really I don't he's not in a position to um, to go to play in so I doubt he really cares about it. Whoa. Yeah, he should go for long-term solutions yes. and just uh, look at next season. Yes, without a doubt. And I would figure um, replacing the Nickel Tomb Guardian uh, because yes. it's he's he has only nine SPP, which you can get fast with two injuries and an MVP or something, and a Nickel with DK combined will kill him sooner or later and then you want to get rid of him rather now when mm -hmm. he doesn't have like too much SPP. Yeah, absolutely I agree. Mm, the um, dirty player skeleton is pretty close to a level, MVP range. Do you give him a level or do you fire him? Is the question. Uh, you can give him kick. Uh, a lot of players like uh, kick and dirty player on the same um, player because you kick first turn maybe if you um, attack, uh, defend and then you can just follow him and if he's getting sent off it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter if you lost kick um, but yeah pretty much like on a third level you shouldn't um, keep him I guess because it's getting too expensive to yeah. follow with 
And also Fend is a really good option for dirty players because it frees them up sometimes and uh, makes them feel too foul. Mm, yeah, I like that. Mm, other than that, no... Well, there's a Blitz Rot in MVP level. Uh, no, uh, like Vanity Pass level, if you're <laughs> brave enough. <laughs> I think you will get the uh, SPP from the thing with my yeah. video. Uh, he has Tackle, so we might see Piling on. What do you think? Uh, you mean... The, the Blitzer that's close to leveling doesn't have Tackle? Yeah, but the other Blitzer does, so... Yeah, the other one... Ah, yeah, but, ah, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, probably... Um... Yeah, I would go for it, depending on... It's the last game, right? Uh, yes. N next game. Um, if he gets the level, he should wait and see uh, his next opponents, what they are. Or and if they dodge heavy, you should go tackle like, as well. And if they are like dash heavy or something, or not, not a lot of dodge, uh, just go for padding on. I was wrong. There is one game this week and one next week. Oh, okay. This week it's against dwarves, and next week it's against... Um... Am I blind here? Uh, against, yeah, elves, so we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, then it might be worth it to go. Is it wood elves? Dark oh, elves. Dark. Yeah, then it might, uh, might be worth it to go yes. second tackle. Uh, yeah, Tomb Guardian, um, also close leveling and injury. Uh, I think mm -hmm. probably Mighty Blow to get that, you know, SPP quicker. Yeah, if he's not leveling, uh, get Mighty Blow now, and then you can get quickly to uh, probably stand firm. Mm. Uh, we have to kind of uh, get moving really because it's been almost half an hour already. So, next team! <laughs> this is uh, Sean Man and his Lords of the Dance. He yeah. got a ton of SPP as we saw, but he got no levels, zero levels. Mm -hmm. um, which is. I mean, I guess it's fine. Um, he has so good. many players in, um, in MVP range. Um, like, pff, so many. Um, yeah, he has pretty much perfect uh, SPP distribution. Like, only one level on a watcher who can foul with Dirty Player. And every Nurgle Warrior already has block. And the other Pestigors are looking good as well. He might get um, another Pestigor after the next game. I don't know if he wants to get... If, if the Pestigor levels next game, uh, he should have money as well and you will probably get uh, a third one by then I guess mm, because this niggle isn't long for this world uh, no, no I mean a, a third one he, he he's yeah. keeping the Mary Poggins yeah. for killing the other one for sacking and then getting another one to carry the ball on with mm, or he might actually um, I can see him buying another Pestigore just building him up as a killer to replace Mary Poggins eventually you know going block first and seeing what happens might also be an option, but he's currently lacking a ball carrier yes, because he you, ca you can't carry on the killer and you really don't want to carry on a wrestle piece. Which is why you carry on a warrior. <laughs> mm. Yes. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Please don't. Um, yeah. He does not. He has a level 2 um, stadium. No enhancement. If he gets some spare money, would like to see that. Perhaps a uh, no rock stadium. Probably a good idea. You'd hate to lose, uh, you know, Mary Poggins to a rock. Yeah, that's true. I'm always going for, like, more fancy stuff, but I can't see why people go for the no rock, no pitch invasion stuff. You're the kind of guy to go for a wizard stadium. Nah, I have the uh, elf turf. <laughs> oh, it looks pretty, so that's what's most important. <laughs> yeah, it's actually uh, because it's really good on Amazons because most teams are either uh, fast and low armor or slow and high armor and they are slow and low armor so they really get the most value out of it. Mm. But that's not the point. <laughs> yep, uh, he has his rotters the perfect way. He has a lot of them, almost all at zero SPP except for one who has dirty player. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go next. Uh, Biobay Giants, the Chaos Dwarves, uh, they got some levels. Uh, Timothy got a level. He has Guard now, which is like really important for these uh, Chaos Dwarves, I think. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, they have Dark Water with a level. He got Mighty Blow. Sick, more killing. Um, yeah.
I nice. don't really understand some of the level ups. Which? If you, uh, for example, the claw uh, dwarf with guard next. Why is he not going for claw mighty blow? Yes, I absolutely agree, and we went over that with him this last week. Much confusion. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, uh, he doesn't have that much money, so he'll be have to be careful with his hobgoblins too. Only three left. One of which is MNG'd. Um, but yeah, this team is looking pretty nice. Uh, kind of weird with the... Uh, the... Oh, what, is, what is it called? I forget all of my names today. Break Tackle on the uh, normal Bull Centaur instead of the Blodge one. Yeah, I thought about it as well, but he might pick Break Tackle before... No. I don't know, it doesn't make too much sense, nah. but... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll inform he us at some a, point. He might need a D tackle to have a blitz. Uh, he might uh, have been in desperate need of some or someone to blitz with. Yeah, that's fair. Because the only claw piece has only movement 3 and the other one's only movement 4 is also not too good for blitzing. Mm. And he might uh, went for mighty blodgers to have a blitzer and get to break tackle eventually. Yeah. Alright, moving on. Yep. Kind of have to do these rapid fire at this point. It's my team, so <laughs> this won't take very long. I got my my kick player. I lost my rookie catcher, thankfully. So, I mean, all is well in the world in the end. Could be worse. And mm. MA busted lineman. Pretty whatever. I mean, I mean line LOS father at this point. So, um, I'm hoping to have enough money after next game to buy another catcher, who'll probably just oh, die yeah. again. Uh, <laughs> or no, he won't die. He'll get AV busted. Uh, my first catcher got AV busted, I fired him, my second catcher also got AV busted, so I sense a trend. Right. AV6 is fine, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I, I threw a, um, a a touchdown against the kiss left because I didn't want to score on the AV6 guy and I, I didn't score at all because I failed at 3+. plus. Anywho, <laughs> moving over to the kiss left, we have... Mm -hmm. Pending level, me angry. Oh yeah. We'll probably see Mighty Blow because he has no um, no uh, really dedicated blitzer or anything, right? Mm, yeah, probably. Let's Other sure. than that, we see Stanislav leveling more guard. Like, what is up with these catchers and rolling doubles? If I may ask. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Like, I criticized him for taking a bunch of um, of catchers before any more blitzers, and here he is with a bunch of cards. Showed me wrong. Um, Should have gone for Nerves of, nerve of Steel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Um, other than that, we have another level, and that's on Anton. Where is Anton? Yeah, that's the blitzer. I'm that's the blind. blitzer, yeah, with the penny level. Yes. Um, he has 180k in the bank. Maybe a club level because it's level one right now. We might see him saving up. Um, mm, I wouldn't go for that because he needs his blitzers ASAP. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. He totally needs new blitzers. Please buy new blitzers. No more catchers or bears. Blitzers. Um, and also, I would highly recommend to get Wrestle on the next line, man. Yes. To be a second because they also already have Leap and they are the, like. Kislev linemen are the best suckers in the game, uh, in terms of linemen suckers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah I... otherwise it's looking pretty good with 3 guard, yeah. and also lots of SPP and some players close to leveling. Mm -hmm. I think they will develop quite fine from this point on. Yeah. This is going. Rough start, but recoverable. This is nowhere close to a dead team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, moving on, we have the Lizardmen. Now, these guys got zero development, which, I mean, it's a pity, but they are quite close to a lot of levels. Skink within one, another Saurus within one. Um, the AV8 yeah. Saurus is also within one, but ask you me, he should be sacked immediately. Right now. Yeah, he should be sacked and also if he can, uh, as soon as he can afford the Nickel Saurus. Yes. Just because he only has two SVP, I would 
probably not niggle, uh, niggle him, uh, fire him <laughs> if he's like level 3 or something, but uh, at this point uh, just get rid of them. I know it hurts because he would level with an MVP, but um, if you think long term you should just get them to play as soon as possible because yeah. you need them to stay on the pitch. Absolutely. And in terms of club, we see a level 2, so enhancement is... Um, Perhaps advisable, but not after he's replaced Osaurus, because, well, AV8 speaks for itself, but AV9 with a niggle is almost, it's basically worse in a fair number of matchups, because, you know, Claw Mighty Blow will doesn't care about AV. They'll just kill you. <laughs> it's actually hilarious how he uh, put, like, the story every second player. Yeah, I... <laughs> It's pretty confusing to look at. I hate it. Uh, I'll be honest, but to each <laughs> their own. <laughs> um, swiftly moving on, unless you have anything else to talk about. I mean, we talked about the Dutch uh, source already, so... Mm. Not sure if I would have rough. taken that, but yeah. Yeah, same. Dwarves, these guys are really quite crazy, really. Um, they're, k they're runner, mostly. The rest of the team is, like, pretty good. Uh, the Troll Slayer is great, even though it's uh, uh, MA busted. It's... Movement 5 already sucks for friendly piece, because it, whenever you block or blitz, you have always to get at least two squares of movement, or you mm -hmm. have to plan for them. And uh, movement 5 already is sometimes a bit of a liability, because he's your blitzer currently, you can't blitz really with the long bit most of the times. And you don't want to, but I think the strength for is too good to fire him and replace him. I would agree, um, especially with frenzy. Like frenzy traps everywhere, but strength four basically mitigates them. Plus don't. Yep. I mean, dauntless is now less valuable, perhaps, unless you actually try to kill trolls, as the name suggests. I think it's pretty valuable, just for that reason, because you have the option now to hit big guys relatively safe with mm -hmm. only uh, one assist, yeah. uh, which uh, is something dwarves kind of struggle with sometimes. Uh, they did get one level on Ara Ring, that's my Yeah, level. that's the, the blitz stuff, yeah. Yes, um, good choice I think. Uh, you might want to start blitzing with him instead of the Troll Slayer, depending on the situation. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, but the team is really looking good, and oh, yeah. I think if he keeps going for one or two more seasons, this will be a very, very impressive team, I think. Absolutely. 150k in the bank. Um, level 1 stadium. We might see a level 2 stadium. We'll see. Yeah, um, yeah all in all, very yeah, solid. Much. He doesn't have to buy something. He might. Is he like. Uh, let me check the leaderboard. Dwarf, he might go for a plane spot, which he still can reach, I might scam a wizard or induce a wizard or something. Perhaps, yeah. I mean, he might actually get pretty good use out of it with that runner, I mean... Yeah, that's true actually, that's normally something Dwarf struggle with, but uh, you're right, actually, that might be a good option. But let's see how he's going for it. Hmm? Yeah, just like, I mean, uh, we can't tell yet, and he might focus on building up his team and getting yes. uh, enhancement and stuff. But he might also want to try to get to the planes and just use it for the next game. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, moving on to the second to last team, it's the <laughs> Warspite Wildlings Wood Elves. Yeah. This is <sighs> team. Poor guys. Um, first of all, MA Busted um, War Dancer. Very, such a pity, right? Yeah, that's really a um, movement busted. War Dancer is already like annoying, but not too bad. But having a movement up makes it feel awkward. Yeah, I mean that's 170k for a War Dancer with jump up. Ugh. Like the worst part is maybe that you can't even fire him because then you would be stuck with a grand total of a one positional. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I would actually fire him if he would have had the money and the other positionals he need. Because I also don't like jump up too much. No. Um, he would much rather. Like, uh, War Dancer level 1 with Strip Ball is so good. Just to leave Strip Ball out mm. of the game. Um, but yeah, he has only one catcher, no thrower, no second War Dancer, no tree. It's, this thing is quite... such a rough position. I mean, two rerolls too. So, he has to. Let's take a look. He has to replace two War Dancers. He needs an extra reroll. He probably wants, you know, maybe a tree or a catcher. And then he has to start replacing his linemen. Or, well, replacing. One has a niggle and one is MA busted. Like, <laughs> this team isn't going anywhere quick, I think. Yeah, I'm also a niggle. Yeah, the niggle linemen. If I would have to make a suggestion, and I hope Metal doesn't listen, but. I would actually re-roll that team because the the skill ups are quite a bit odd. Also, the kick on the catcher is really awkward um, because the catchers have so many useful skills they can get, and they're such good positionals with movement eight and uh, three skills already built in. Um, and then you can't keep the niggled one, the niggled lineman, really, because I don't know and. If you do so, or even if you don't, I would suggest um, getting strip ball on the first war dancer or tackle maybe. And with the most linemen, I would go uh, with dodge before block. Mm -hmm. Because against a non block piece, uh, dodge offers more protection because it's basically having dodge because your opponent only can uh, take fouls. Mm. And it's way safer for you to just uh, dodge out if you screen or something if you get base and it's way safer and you don't really want to make too many blocks with wood elves anyways and if you do then you most of the time blitz with the war dancers yes i absolutely agree mm. all right shall we move on to the leaderboard now then yep uh, do we want to go over the oh yeah the last well? team of course uh, plague's horns the newcomer in our team welcome welcome with two pending levels. Two pending levels, great. I love it. First strike. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, I doubt these are doubles, seeing as, you know, a double, you take that immediately. You know, block on the beast uh... and probably dodge on the Pestigore to get a bell carry. Yeah, you might think about it actually because you don't want... I don't know if you want to go with a double first. Because Pestigores are... So I mean, they have mutation access on normals, mm. and they can get like extra arms and two heads and stuff like that uh, without doubles. So he might have actually pending double on the Pestigore. Yes. I don't think he will have on the piece of Nurgle, or he's considering getting Claw, which I would not recommend over block. God, no. <laughs> but yeah. The one thing with this team. Um, or with Nurgle in general, I would recommend uh, not getting all Pestigors at once. Yes. And only like by one, develop him, score touchdowns with him, and if he's somewhat developed with one or two skills, get the next one and then use him as a carrier and score with him and so on. Yeah, Pestigors are super overpriced for what they offer in the beginning. So uh, it's basically build a killer. When the killer is like block mighty blow claw start building like either a sacker or a ball carrier and stop I would actually there. go for sacker and then uh, you can use the third one as a ball carrier like. yes like you stop because there until they're developed then you get the third one yeah they have basically no skills every gen uh, and wrote a, a, what's it called map of nurgle or something nurgle's um, rod nurgle's rod yeah and they don't do uh, are useful in game and only horns with which is only useful in one player, so they're basically skiller 6, 3, 3, 8 linemen. Um, and if you lose them, it's, it's getting really annoying yes. if you have to replace them all the time. Hmm. The beast, um, probably either guard or stand firm. This team has zero guard, so I reckon we'll see guard. Um, Pestigore, pff, wrestle or block. I would go wrestle and get the Saka developed. Yes, agreed. 
he has only two team rerolls, but he has enough money to buy one. So I think it would be a sound investment to get the third reroll. Uh, although he has a bunch of block now, so... Yeah, but he has no sure hands yet, so I That's would fair. recommend the team reroll as well. It's a 3 plus to be on one reroll for the entire half, which is awful. Yep. Mm. Yeah, we wish you welcome and all the best. Nice. <laughs> Leaderboard. Um, what an... Wait a second. Has the game been played? No. It's the uh, Bile Bay Giants. Let me take a look if we're... Yeah, we have two Chaos Dwarves on top. Uh, we have the Pirates of the World's End, who have been either... They've been like second, basically, the entire season until they uh, they won against me and now they're first. And the Bile Bay Giants getting out with a... Um, uh, a victory and going into second place, which is very impressive. Um, yeah, third place is me with the high elves. Pretty yeah. happy. Uh, I'm still trying to get that playing spot, and uh, we'll I see mean, how you that goes. Now you're in second place again. Yes. No, in first place actually. Yeah, actually, you're you're correct. And um, as we'll see later, Sardaur might have a, a difficult game coming up. Below me are the Saki Ballers, who... Do they have a chance at the uh, play-ins? Um, they actually do. If they win, then they are definitely in the running. Mm -hmm. uh, they are equal in points to Sean Man, um, who, of course, also is in the running. Um, although I'm not sure if he wants to, because his Nurgle team is great for the, the amount of games he's played. I, I see him struggling against perhaps some other teams. Yeah. Uh, underneath that, we have the two Dark Elves. I don't think they're in playoffs contention, but they will do what Elves do, which is farm SPP and grow to ridiculous sizes. And I think that's perfectly fine for them. Yeah, this is actually fine for most coaches because, I mean, it's cool getting to play-ins and trying to get to playoffs. But um, like fresh teams always have a hard time and sometimes uh, end up getting uh, much higher SPP, uh, TV, Nurgle or Chaos teams or something like that. And many coaches prefer actually to just like uh, develop your team in season one and then go for a playoff spot in season two. Mm. So they might not really try to push too hard for play-ins. Yes. Depending on how competitive you are, and yeah. Underneath the Dark Elves, we see the Lizardmen. Uh, I think they'll just be trying to survive and rebuild. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Grief is in a good spot, so I think... Um, I mean, you know, he'll continue playing games, continue growing, you know, more SPP. He's in a good spot, maybe farm the two... Um, farm sack the two niggles at some point we'll have to see yeah um, i mean it's really tough for camry in the first season yes. um i mean check Herring Zord had also quite a rough time and now he's pretty much top spot in gman 2 and probably most likely going to playoffs because his team is scary as fuck mm. uh, underneath that we have the kislev um they are in a better spot but i think they will want to. Um, I just got a Steam uh, message which is throwing me off. Um, they will want to probably get some more money to get some more positionals. Question Special mark. Blitzers, yeah. Yes. Um, get a new Blitzer. At some point, probably sack the current one, right? Mm, yes, tough because uh, he was niggled, right? Yes. It's really tough because they are so slow at leveling and they need so many skills. They need block, they need mighty blow, they need tackle or whatever. And it's really tough for them. I mean, I, I can understand keeping a niggle. He's AV8 and they're so slow to develop and he still needs three more. He's probably keeping him for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Um, and then the, uh, the Wood Elves. <laughs> You voiced your opinions on whether he should re-roll or not. Um, mm. I 
probably agree. Probably. Unless you really, really like the Agi-5, you know, catcher and you think you can rebuild. And if you can, oh, props to you, right? I, I, I like... I like to see uh, teams which manage to rebuild from nothing. Yeah, it's too bad. Yeah. It's I, I, I mean, I don't want to convince him to re-roll because uh, I also like keeping teams and playing with them. But currently, as it stands now, probably a fresh team would have better chances winning than he does if they would face each other. Yeah. And then lastly, we have uh, Plague's Horns. Complete wild card. He has a pretty decent record with uh, early Nurgle. Two, three, four is nothing to scoff at. Yeah, especially with Nurgle, who are quite, who are not the best at the uh, low team. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's the uh, leaderboard out of the way. Let's go over to the uh, last segment, which is uh, our predictions. Whoops. Day ten. Um. You there? Yep. Perfect. As we can see, one of the games has already been played. Uh, that's the Kislev versus the um, Chaos Dwarves. Chaos Dwarves with the 1 0 victory there. Um, uh, I mean, quite expected, I think. I mean, yeah, probably. Chaos Dwarves, very good team. Kislev really struggling right now. Um, on top there, we have the game between me, the High Elves, and the uh, Wood Elves, which will be played in about five minutes, actually. I have to get going. <laughs> um, I think it should, in theory, be a victory for me, but who knows, right? Yeah, it should really, because he's missing the War Dancer, and yes. now he's left with a bunch of linemen, uh, only one with Dodge and uh, some loners, and only one positional. He might carry actually the ball with him and try yeah. some desperate uh, edgy five passing to maybe get a quick touchdown and try to stop uh, you from scoring. Mm. But if dice don't like do something against it, you should probably win this game. Whoops. Uh, yes. Um, third game, the Rasping Reptile versus the Lords of the Dance. I think this should be a uh, victory for Shawnman. He. Um, that killer Pestigore should make quick work, can opening those lizards with the AV9 and the 8 actually. He'll... Especially with the niggle saws, yeah. you can focus him down. Um, there might be some skink shenanigans, um, but I doubt it. I don't really see a world where the uh, lizards win this one. Shawnman is a great core coach and he has a great team too for this uh, few games played. Yeah. It's, it's going to be tough, mm. and I, it's, it's really, really hard, and I think Shaman is super favored in this one. Yeah, I mean, he has block on all his warriors, like the lizards have one block, I think. Mm. Whoops, that's my alarm going off for my game. It's <laughs> alright. Um, very professional, once again. Saki Ballers versus Granny's Chosen. Um, this will actually be an interesting one, even though there's a big disparity in um, positions. Um, I think that if the dwarves get bullied by the um, the tomb guardians, they they might stand a chance. Um, yep. But then again, you know, strength strength four dauntless, like there's plenty of ways to deal with them. I think fouls are the name of the game here for the um, the Hemri. Yeah, Hemri really has to foul to get something going and. I think the troll slayer, the strength for troll slayer might be the factor that uh, is mm. pushing it in the draw's favor. Yes. Because he has actually quite, not an easy time, but quite a good time um, punching those uh, Tomb Guardians. Mm. So th that'll be interesting to watch. My money is on the uh, dwarves, but this is one of the closer ones. Yeah, same for me. Um, Pirates of the World's End versus Nagrite Night Stalkers. Now, this is probably the closest one we'll see. Um, this is a very developed uh, Dark Elf team versus an extremely developed, or extremely, a very well developed uh, Chorf team. Um, it's honestly very hard to say. Yes, the Chorfs have tackle. But then again, Elves. 
you know. Wait a second. Is no, this isn't a team. We have two jaws, right? I was confused why the claw uh, jaw had a uh, mighty blow, but it no. was a different team. Two jaws. <laughs> two jaws. Yeah, okay. Um, it's going to be tough for the dark elves, but if the jaws struggle to remove pieces, mm. uh, they might have an actual decent chance to win this one. Um, I would agree. Um, maybe if uh, the witch elves can get some nasty surfs. We'll see some um, some removed dwarves, but like I think I probably have my whoops, I have my money on the um, on the dark elves, but it's extremely close. Um, yeah, I'm I, I'm putting my money on the dwarves, oh. uh, but I think if they don't find the removals, like two or three in the first half, uh, it will, will be really tough for them to win this one. Yeah. Especially with an LG5 piece, even if it's just blind men, uh, can can make things diff difficult. Hmm. It'll be interesting no matter what, right? Yeah. Back to the uh, schedule. And lastly, we have Plague's Horns versus Despicable Meme. Um, uh, it's Dark Elves, right? Dark Elves. It's Nurgle versus. Yeah, Dark Elf. Um, no tackle on the Nurgle versus a bunch of dodge on the elves. Um, most likely means you know the elves get this one. They even have a pretty nice one turner. Um, yeah, I've edgy seen five. this in the elf favor as well. Like movement nine, edgy five, and no tackle and not much mighty blow. Only two of them on the Nurgle side. Makes me think uh, they will be heavily favored, the Dark Elves. Yes, but then again, the Nurgle might make some uh, beast plays, keep those um, pesky elves close uh, to the beast, and you know, then you can punch them until they die. Yeah, also, he has to be quite careful if he's relying on dump off, uh, not forgetting a uh, disturbing presence all around. Yes. Which Absolutely. can sometimes happen, happen to me as well. <laughs> mm. I mean, that's the uh, Dark Elf team who built the leader dodge catcher, so I don't think he's going for the passing place, but who knows. Hmm. Any last comments before we wrap it up? No, I think I said everything I wanted to. Alright, perfect. Well, uh, this was a little longer than originally planned, but then again, there's a lot, of talk about, a lot to talk about. Um... We'll have to, um, I mean, give me some feedback with uh, the length and all of that. Um, I'll try and leave um, links to the times of the different teams so you can like skip ahead to your team if that's something you'd prefer. Uh, but other than that, I think uh, I think we're done here, aren't we? Yeah. All right, perfect. Uh, I'll see you guys next week then. Bye. See you guys.